Here is our B100 module. The B1 BR wiring from the right side is bringing in the 24 volts from the FPO150. On the left side, we have our B1 B2 BR bus feeding both the 24 volts and the 12 volts to our downstream devices. We also have our flex IO wiring daisy chaining from this module to the next in the enclosure. Just a quick tech tip, TB1 here is a 12 volt output by default with the jumper on JP3 in position one. In position two, it's useful for cases if you encounter an extremely far reader run or specifically a 12 volt lock run. You can get the jumper to position two on JP3 and use the BR2 voltage adjust. You can change the output value from three to 18 volts DC to help overcome that voltage drop in a larger run. Moving on to the D8 module, this module has eight outputs that can be used to power devices in the cabinet, such as a mercury board, providing a fused output for each QXEP, or can be used to power field devices in the same manner. We have the same B1, B2, BR connections on the left side as the other modules. And since this is the last module in line, we have no flex IO or B connections on the right hand side. The yellow jumper settings can toggle between voltage selections using position one and position two. The LED indicators right above the terminal block are an indicator for, the, for each output and hold a solid color with blue representing 24 volts and green representing 12 volts.